Hey everybody, check it out. What's up? It's Heracles Porsche's professional intro. Yay! Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Heracles Porsche. I'm a little fucking cranky today. I'm in a sour, freaking mood. Okay, oh, here I am in a new uh, Biotics MK Olaji. Uh, a long way to go before it's perfected. Blah, blah. I don't want to talk about the footage. I have so much to freaking talk about. Uh, I'm in a piss poor fucking mood, and it's not all related to dust stuff. Um, I have bursitis. I wonder how much. I wonder how many people freaked out at the name of a fucking condition that ended in situs. It's not fucking contagious. Um. So don't be worried about me giving you uh, internet cooties. Um, no, what it is is I have an inflamed bursa. Uh, I, uh, yeah, that's a real part of your body, people. A bursa. You learn something new every day, and in my case, very painfully. Uh, the day before yesterday, I didn't even know what the fuck a bursa was. And now I have one that hurts like fucking hell, let me tell you. Um, so yeah, go Google that stuff, Bursa. Uh, you could learn something new. Uh, the one I have that hurts like a biatch is in my freaking knee. So excuse me if I use some less than optimal language, although people who squad with me are probably already used to that. And now for the sad news. CEO Pyrex is dead he's not literally dead he didn't he didn't, was not hit by a car but I'm saying for all intents and purposes CEO Pyrex has gone away do you know how I know this because his last video was him saying he wasn't dead which means that he was because that's the curse not of dust youtubers but of all youtubers the last video every youtuber ever makes is them saying they're not gone and I'll post again soon. And that's always, that's the death throes of any YouTuber. Don't believe me? Go do your research. It's, it's a sad day for the dust community to uh, finally know that's come to pass. But uh, fear not. The, uh, the uh, dust YouTubers that go away will, will be, always be replaced by new blood to pick up the mantle, to take up the cause. Um, like me, but, and of course, the Beast, and Silver Strike, and Brother of Havoc, and lots of other new people who've come in, but, uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's oldies, there's oldies leaving, and, uh, new, uh, new Dust YouTubers taking center stage, uh, another oldie who left, uh, was Bam Havoc, his PS3 died, so I think he's done with Dust YouTube, he was a, obviously pretty big and well-known, and, you know, as, you know, in the Dust YouTuber circle, but he is, uh, he seems to have moved on from Dust as well. He's, he's covering other games now. Um, Yo Jolly Roger posted recently, so that was happy. I was happy not to see him. Saxon Mish is still posting. Um, and that, uh, this is a good time to mention a piece of Dust 5-1 for culture. That I'm not fond of. And it's the culture of the KD Care Bear. That's right. It's the uh, it's the culture of this the younger generation of Dusties who just give way too much of a fuck about their KDs. And uh, if you don't believe me, you can you can see it on the um, the Dust 514 most active Facebook group. I've called them out, out on this before. I'll do it again. Because cause who else do you have to show you the way, children? Um, uh, yeah, Saxy Boy. If you don't believe me when I say Saxy Boy is a KD Care Bear, just look at how he fits his Lodge Bros, man. Two pieces of equipment. That is just bleh. But, um... I know I have good Slayer games on here. Uh, I do have games where I want to shoot and I want to slay and all that good stuff. But um, dust is a dust is a thingy. 
that is made up of more than just the KD blingy. Um, there's other stuff going on, and that's why I picked this video. I, was, I wanted to make that point. Um, uh, Lodges should be YouTubers too, and uh, that Shays guy is another guy who has... Uh, pretty much given up on making dust videos. Um, so who else do you have in the dust YouTuber Logi domain? And uh, I had uh, I had someone uh, in the corp recently uh, say to me, you know, why don't get you know you you post too much GKO Logi. Um, well, that's I hate to break it to you, Corpy will not be named, but uh, that's part of who I am. Uh, part of what makes me great is. I do stuff besides slay. All right, so you're just gonna have to. Uh, this one I brought. I did bring to you something different. I brought the MKO Logi instead of the GKO. But uh, you guys have gotta. You guys have gotta expect me to always have uh, intermittent Logi uh, Logi gameplay. Cause uh, you know I uh, I like to do different things. Uh, um, yeah, variety is the spice of life. But uh, being a JKO is a Lodgy is a big part of who I am. So, you know, expect to see expect to see me go back to my lovely link, loving you know my scans and my links, which I love so much. They will be making frequent returns as I love them, and I'll I can try and mix in more slang, but you know those are you know I I keep coming back to it. You know, part of what makes this game great is uh, more dimensions than just uh, being a poo poo care bear. Okay, um, right, so I've made that point. Care about more things than your KD people, and I know other people out there are thinking the same way I am. There have been posts about it very recently on the forums, and uh, uh, back in the day when I was in CAP, what they actually asked me for was war point to death ratio, a little more complicated to uh, process because uh, it's not a built-in game stat the way KD is, and I think that it probably is partly responsible for the way the culture is formed, is that KD's on your character sheet, KD's on your leaderboards, it's just, it's just built into the game as something that's very easy to see, so it kind of makes people think about it more, but it's really far from what makes a great Dust player, so, uh, yeah, and, uh, I'm, I guess I'm covering this topic now, because that was one of the things, uh, CEO Pyrex used to go on about in a way that was much more entertaining than the way I'm doing it now, but uh, yes, that is my little piece of my mind, and speaking of pieces of my mind I want to share, um, or mind sharing, blah blah blah, whatever, awkward transition, we have new CPMs now, uh, you guys have all seen their names in your startup screen so take a look at those names and then take a look at the names of my vote or die video because that video I said who I was voting for before the election closed and then guess what five or seven of them got in and of course that must mean they owe it all to me <laughs> no they don't but, but well I don't know how much of it do they owe to me I can get a little credit right let's say Let's say that they got the Heracles Porsche bump, you know, because that five out of seven, that, that can't be a coincidence. I, I'm going to be cocky and say that. I'm going to be cocky and say of those CPM candidates who got in, you got the Heracles Porsche bump because I did, uh, I did, uh, I did offer you my public support and, you know, I have a little reach now. No, no, I have a little reach. Just... Just a little bit. Uh, I have enough there where people are like, oh, you're the YouTube guy. Yeah, I'm the YouTube guy. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah. Um, so now I'm going to make my pitch. Now that you owe me. <laughs> uh, no, no, none of you are going to buy into that, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to make a very simple idea, which I'm going to propose. Because I had some games recently that I lost that I shouldn't have lost. And you know what cost me the game? MCC missiles. Let me give you. Let me give a big fuck you to MCC missiles. I had a game earlier today. I we 
We took the point near the end. My team very valiantly pushed for a comeback. You know, it wasn't just me. There were other people there. And we were not rewarded with a comeback victory. You know why? MCC missiles. And if we had pushed for that comeback at like the last minute or two and then had that happen, I could I could stomach that. But we were sitting there for a while, folks. We were sitting there for 5, 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes. I should have actually nailed that statistic down. But just, just let me say, we were waiting around for a while before we lost on MCC missiles. And it was a very close one. I know that would affect PC, I don't know, for the good or bad. But for domination, at least, at least take out MCC missile damage. We can introduce better gameplay, uh, you know, methods. You know, if we've, I'm sure that, you know, I'm sure we could do something to limit how long a game takes. We already have Ambush with a set timer. I'm sure we could do that for Dom. Um, you know what? I just, just take those... Take those MCC missiles out of there. And you know what? Don't actually... I take that back. Don't set a timer for Dom. Just set a timer for how long the game will last while the letter stays yellow. After that, we all know there's a set amount of time before the game ends. As long as somebody takes that point... That fucking game is going to end. So, okay. Now we'll focus on the footage. Something amazing is about to happen. Yeah. Drink it in. Drink it in. Drink it in. Okay. Now, now you've marveled at that. That was pretty fucking OP. That, that, uh, that was, uh, that was lovely. And now we're going to go back to my fucking bitching. Um, so yeah, CPM, uh, CCP, CPMs, please take MCC missile damage out of the game. It's the only thing I'm pushing you for. You know, it's part of an overall desire to see games that are more balanced and not set in stone from the very start. Um, I think that's, uh, I think that's, that's been a big problem with Dust for a long time is, uh, games whose ending you can predict long before the game comes to a conclusion, you know, I'd say, I mean, that's a problem, in, uh, it's a big problem in Faction Warfare, but it's also, it's also prominent in pubs. That can be our first, our first little tiny stepping stone in fixing the problem. So yeah, that's the idea I'm proposing. Get rid of MCC missile damage, uh, at least in DOM. So comebacks in Dust 514 can actually be a thing. Um... And yeah, I thank you CCP for hitting the boards and being willing to uh, talk about what we need in the hotfix. I know that's a huge crazy soup for you to wade through, especially since a lot of people who replied <laughs> clearly don't understand what can and can't be done in a hotfix, okay? Guys, a hotfix are stat changes. They can change numbers in the games, okay? They can't give you quaff motorcycles in a hotfix. It's just not going to happen. A lot of you are smart and ask for things like rifle balancing. Even though we've asked for that before, it never hurts to get more rifle balancing. That is something we can get in a hotfix, okay? You can't get, you know, Amarian parachutes, okay? It's not, <laughs> there's not, you, you, okay, it's number changes. That's what your hotfix get you. Not, okay, so, uh, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I guess I shouldn't berate you for being ambitious since... CCP kind of trolls us when giving us new skins. That was what we got at the start of the week, new skins. And if CCP Ritati hadn't stepped in and started talking about the hotfix, I would have I would have had a huge bitch fest about that. Because really, skins, that's your new thing. I know I've covered skins here on the channel because I'm a bit of a fashionista. But they, they don't even work right. It's not time to make new skins. It's time to fix skins. And other things that aren't working about this game. I know CCP treats this game like it's a boarded, red-headed stepchild. But, you know, don't. Don't do that. And so, yeah. I've berated a bunch of people on this podcast while I was at home sick and cranky. So that's put me in a good mood. Um, I'm sorry, Amarians, that the Empress died. It's been a really trying time for you. Well, us... I guess I play Amar a lot. I just don't RP it. 
Some people have tried to tell me there are peers out there. I don't believe it. Oh, and I am out of time. So um, we've hit a bunch of milestones recently on the channel. We've hit 100k views, 600 subs. Not huge in the dust world, but it's enough to make me happy. So um, what else? Uh, I would also, I'm potentially thinking of collabs, ways of reaching out to the, Sp the Spanish player base. Um, I'm having a bit of a dry spell in terms of getting awesome footage on like a week ago where I had a shit ton. Anyway, that's my way too late splurge, so I'm going to have to find some last minute video to stick in here. Because I just had a little more to talk about than I could fit in 14 minutes, but anyway... That is it. That is everything. I've finally done my rant. So let me know, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of my cranky but still excitable Porsche. And as always, I will see you star side.